couple of different factors. We've got timber, we've got open grass fields. We kind of got everything. When we burn this place, you get a little bit of everything. Uh, the conditions are pretty good. The humidity is really low. Uh, of course, we've got a big fire lane around the whole area, so there's nothing could really go wrong. But in a lot of cases, when this wind dies, which you notice we've got some hills, and if you like the bottom of a hill, you can get it to run up a hill if you want to build up some heat and really burn it good. Uh, and then on the second thing is, you know, you can always use your wind, because if you light one that burns with the wind, that's called a head fire, you're gonna get a lot more heat. You're gonna, if you got an open air, you really wanna scorch it good, that's the best thing to do. Now, a lot of cases though, where you've got a canopy of timber or you want to be careful, you wanna back them or backfire them, which means light it downwind and let it burn against the wind. That's what this is doing. That burned up real hot, scorched all that, and it's back in the last little bit, and you see how it's a lot smaller fire. Now, how could you get something that clean that quick in any other way? 